In this video, I will show you how to color grade like Joker movie in Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan. Welcome to HarshwardhanArt.com. In this special video, I will show you how you can color grade your images like you see in the Joker movie. So Joker movie is basically have a different color grading. It has lots of green in the dark and it has orange in the highlights. So we are going to mimic that. And before we go any further, please hit the like button. Otherwise, you will forget to like. And if you like the video, please leave something in the comments and consider sharing this. So having said that, let's get started. So first of all, we will launch this in Adobe Photoshop and then we need to come to the adjustment layer and here we will select the selective color adjustment layer, which is over here. Just click on that and here we have all the channels. So let me show you. So in this we have all the channels on which we can work on so we have the red yellow green and and all of these colors the first of all we'll go for the black color and then we have these sliders like cyan magenta yellow and black so we'll take the cyan and we'll drag towards the right side so we'll drag it to the plus side and you can see it starts to add that green color inside the shadows that is the color grading of Joker movie and let's work on the magenta. If we add magenta towards the right side, it's going to add a little bit of blueness in the shadows. And if we drag it to the left side, it's going to add a lot more green. So we want a little bit of more green on this side. And then let's work on the yellows so if we drag it to the left side it's going to add the cyan color and this movie has the cyan color as well in the shadows so somewhat like this one and then we have the black so we can make it darker and we can make it lighter so we will leave it on the default position that is the zero and let's work on the neutral this time and then again we have the cyan slider so let's drag it towards the right side and if we drag it to the left side it's going to add lots of orange which we don't want so we'll drag it to the something like this and then magenta so we'll add little bit of magenta as well and then the yellow we'll leave it something over here and then we want we can make it darker or lighter so i'll keep it around here minus 5 and then let's go work on the red color and let's add the cyan so drag it to the left side so that's going to make the red color you can see over here more richer and vibrant and let's try working with the magenta yes a little bit of magenta that's fine and the yellow yes and the black so we can make it darker or lighter so i'll make it something like this it's just fine let's go for the yellow and this slider will work only if that color is available so i have selected the yellow color and it has the yellow color in this jacket so let's work on this maybe make it something like this And then let's take the cyan color and let's add cyan a little bit more and the magenta yellow and we can make it lighter or darker. So let's make it lighter something like this and then let's work on the green. All right, green is not that available. Because this green we have added later on. A green is only in the hair originally. 
so whatever is which we have added later on that won't work with these sliders so these works with the original colors all right and then we have the blue so let's see all right blue is not also affecting so i think that's fine so let me just close this so you can see the difference this is before and this is after and if you want to work a little bit more on this what you can do you can come over here on the photo filters click on that and you will get this warming filter by default so we have lots of other presets as well so if you want to work on those so pick one which is the warmer tone which has the warmer tone let's go for the green cyan orange and blue all right so i'll go for the let's say orange okay and but it has affected the entire thing which we don't want so what we'll do for that let me first place the properties over here and then we'll mask it out so we want it only affect the face of this joker not everything else so it has a mask you can see so we'll press ctrl i command i to invert that and then we'll choose the brush tool and that would be a soft brush i'm using the pen tablet so i'm using the pressure pressure opacity pressure opacity sorry and then with the white color foreground color has to be white if it is not white press d on your keyboard that would make it white or default and then you can paint on the face so wherever you're going to paint it's going to add a little bit of that so you can see by turning this on and off if you like this effect you can keep it otherwise you can just turn this off so let me just group it together and show you the final result so this is our final color grading like joker movie in adobe photoshop and this was the before image we have started with this one i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button please leave something in the comments because that motivates me to make more and more free videos for you guys and i would be grateful if you will share this video with others so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you bye bye